and welcome back. This is Valor Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Roar. He is ranked number 12th in his silver division with 72 wins and 45 losses with 993 points. And here we are in the game. Roar has spawned as the Red Terran in the north up against me. I am the Blue Terran in the south. The map is Metalopolis, not one of my favorite maps, but since it's Terran versus Terran, it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure people will point out all the intricacies of uh, TVT based on the map, but based on spawning locations, I can tell you that the best build to get here would be the one that I saw, what was it, one racks, three factories. Although you can't afford that gas, you can get a ton of Hellions. And if the other guy went for a massive Marine Ball, and or he left his ramp open, you can get a lot of damage done with those Hellions. I don't. I'm not usually a big fan of Hellions, to be honest with you guys. I don't even think about getting them. Even in TVT, TVZ, really. I mean, uh, you guys saw the last game that I went. I. How how long did it last? Not once did I think, hey, you know, I could get aliens to take out these banelings and these and these zerglings. But aliens would have been fantastic for me to get in that game. We are both scouting. Zelnaga Tower is my preference. He instead just goes way over here. Neither one of us see the other SCV. I assume. I know I did not. I don't keep an eye on the mini map as nearly as well as I should. See, look, he definitely did not know that. So he is going inside my base and then immediately going elsewhere. He likes to go all around. I like to make sure that there's nothing there before I move out. Continuing to get... Oh, yeah, he tried to do some damage to my barracks. My barracks is what I meant to say. I don't know what I actually said. But I meant to say barracks. So I went... And send another SCV to try to do some damage to him. He thought for a second there, because his SCV got pushed, that I was going to get two guys on him, I guess. So, but I didn't, you know. This guy is just going to go back to the mineral line. Marine is on the way, as well as an orbital command. He is starting to do some damage to me, and oh, I didn't catch it nearly in time. And this SCV will die. I caught it uh, before that before that little turn there, but I was like, oh, he's got enough. There's no way I can get out anyways. Marine was out a little bit early. I was able to get that SCV down before he could get some serious downing, scouting done, but I was scared. I'm like, holy crap, did he build a bunker down there? Oh, what did he build down there? But there was nothing there. And my worries were all for nothing. We are going to be seeing a factory coming down for Roar. So he is not going for the heavy infantry build that I am going. As you can see, I do have my second and third barracks on the way. Even though I saw where he was, where he had spawned. Uh, just, just, I'm, I'm stubborn. That's, that's what it is. I should know better than this. I should be going for the insta three racks, you know what I mean? And as soon as, like, two... Siege tanks are out. I should have enough for an expansion, and then uh, start getting the gas there. And you know, what I what did I say? One racks, three factories. It works wonders. He's going for a second barracks. So no, not even going for the fast starport build, the Destiny Cloudfish build, the one 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 build, whatever you want to call it. Because the barracks what did go up first, so the fact the starport will be a little bit delayed. The tech lab is going down on that factory, so we should be seeing siege tanks, is what I assume. Siege tanks are the standard in Terran versus Terran. I, on the other hand, am not getting any siege tanks. I'm I'm pretty much getting nothing except for marines and marauders. Oh, stim pack and concussive shells did just start. He is researching siege mode. And the second barracks is up. Still no add-on on that first barracks. And it looks like he's spreading out his marines. I, I don't know why. I assume that he thinks I'm going in with siege tanks of my own and he doesn't want splash damage. I don't know. Starport is up. No, no add-on to that one either. Okay. 
siege tank is almost finished here. Meanwhile, I do have quite a substantial army in my base. But of course, uh, I didn't think to attack now, even though this would be the opportune time to attack. I scan though, and I see that he's got just marines and a siege tank. I'm not able to see the starport. I don't see the medevac is on the way, but I'm like, holy crap, I need to get damage done now. So I'm moving out with, with what little I have, trying to get as much damage done as I can. He does overtake me in the army because of that medevac. It is 100-100, even though it doesn't do any attacking. But if you use it properly, it is more than worth it. So much better than a Viking if you can use the medevac properly. Still not going for the expansion. Neither one of us is. He should be going for it first, I believe. No, he's down on minerals still. My stim pack is almost done. By the time I get there, it looks like it will be done. SCV able to spot what I am doing, it looks like. And I don't know what he's doing all the way out in boo-foo fucking Egypt. Oh, that's a reference. I don't think you guys watch that guy's channel, though. So I back up here, just trying to bunch up, and then I go for the stim and the push here, taking out the siege tanks when I can, and oh, just too many siege tanks, they do so much damage. 50 against armor, they're as good as an immortal against armor. Oh, I hate siege tanks when I don't have them. When I have them, I love them. Oh, I love my siege tanks. But when they're on the other side, oh, screw them, man. They're overpowered. Ugh. Isn't that the way, man? If if you have it, it's not overpowered. What you, people just don't know how to counter it. But if it's somebody else's crap, oh, they need to nerf it, man. Nerf marauders, nerf banelings. I've heard. Really, I don't think I don't think you need to nerf banelings because they are suicide units. You know, you lost a zergling to do that damage. Plus, um, I believe one food, and you know, I don't know exactly how how it works so he scans inside my base he's gonna be able to see that I have my army up front so he is going to be moving around the back with these two medevacs and even though I have the supply depots there I don't catch it in time as you can see I'm still working on something else I actually did not catch this until it told me hey you know you do realize that you're under attack right oh crap no get over there you guys but all he was able to take out was a couple supply depots. Here, I stop here thinking, okay, that was enough time for him to realize that he needed to unsiege the tank, right? But he didn't unsiege it, so I have to go focus it down, but I'm gonna have more than enough to clean this up. And I'm starting to take out, yes, I do take out one medevac. This one will get away with its life. Looking at the army count, I am, oh, I'm supply locked here, but I still have a slightly larger army, but it looks like by the time I would get over there, he would definitely catch up, especially since he does have that siege tank. If he had positioned it properly, I will have nothing left. But no, I am going for an attack here. Is this going to be enough? It's hard to say. Oral command not producing anything. Uh, well, pretty basic spending. I, I love the idea of this tab, to be honest with you. It just doesn't work out that well. And I'm able to take out a siege tank because he did not see my army coming. Taking out two siege tanks, so I take the lead in the unit's loss count. And, oh, uh -huh, so I'm like, okay, there's another one. So I run up and I take that one out. And I'm starting to do damage on everybody else here, but I don't see is another siege tank in siege mode there. Now I see it, so I'm running in, and I am able to take that out. Where are my reinforcements? They are nowhere. Oh, they're in the middle of nowheresville. So I'm running in the base, and I'm like, okay, I got this, I got this. He's got to leave, he's got to leave, he's got nothing. He's got nothing! He's actually down to, yes, that that was it for him. So he's down to pulling his SCVs off the line. Where are my reinforcements now? Now that he's got four Marines and two Medivacs, and that is it. That, well, five now. But that is it. I've got six Marauders and four Marines. Why aren't they inside his base right now? And the answer is because they're here. Because I was scared of a Medivac drop. That was my thought process, but really I should have known. No, his medevacs are there. If the if he was going for a medevac drop, they 
he wouldn't have the medevacs inside this base, so I'm letting him get back in this game. With the siege tank up there, he's doing a hell of a job spending his minerals. Meanwhile, I have... Oh, what am I... Ugh. Really? 1,700? I did get the expansion up with the planetary fortress upgrade. Going for my fifth barracks, so I am starting to get a little bit better here, but still, this is inexcusable. Once again, I... I fall apart because I think the game's over. I think, you know what? I've won this game. There's no need for me to produce anything. What I think it is, is that I love watching my army when I'm inside his base. And I don't think, oh, I need to start selecting other stuff. I think it's a glory thing, you know? I, I want to see that I've won the game. I don't want to, to be... I don't want to be here and have him go GG. I don't want to be looking at my barracks when when he quits the game because of my massive army but that's what I so I'm constantly looking at my army when I attack that is not smart at all he's building a massive amount of supply depots here he does have three barracks two factories and a starport so he is going to be able to to counter anything that I have the, he doesn't have anything here though so this would be great for medevac drops because he does have all his army out front but it doesn't look like I have any sort of tech upgrades in my in in my base at all right now we are both going for our third expansion how soon oh look at that 2022 so his is one second faster than mine so i'm inside his base and no he does not cancel it and do you know how i'm sure about that because that was the first time i was able to kill a command center without him canceling it so i got the achievement denied which is our, one of my favorite achievement names honestly so i tech so i stim up because i assume that he's going to be going um in but he actually moved them around to micro them better but i was able to take out two command centers so I took out 800 minerals I took out another SCV uh, I was trying to focus down the command center again but uh, he was able to kill my army before that happened looking at the income tab I don't trust you anymore so he does have 28 SCVs as opposed to my 38 I scan inside his base so I go holy crap he's got a lot of tanks and now I see that he's moving them I assume that he's going to be moving them down here and uh, seizure them up there so that he can defend but still once again where's my army that needs to be in his base but i'm scared of medevac drops because he did it the one time but i once again i saw the medevacs i should know that he is not going for it but i did not uh my game sense is so off it was so off and it has been so off for the past couple weeks uh just have not been in the zone <sighs> there's no other way to put it i am you know, queuing up a lot of marines, lots of marauders, getting two star ports, getting an armory, uh, turning this into a planetary fortress, even though he's got siege tanks. And I know he has siege tanks, so if he wanted to, he could take all of those out anytime he wanted. So here we go, here's going to be the big battle in today's game. Uh, he has the siege tanks up in the back, and I see the massive explosion, yet I still do nothing. I, I form the concave, and I take out his army. If you've noticed the entire game, I've been smart. I've been running up and right up to the siege tanks if I could and doing damage. I needed to do that again, just surround these guys. But no, I let him come back, and he is able to take the lead in the, ar the newest loss count. And now he has the medevacs out to spot for the siege tanks. They can hit my barracks from there. And I'm just allowing this to happen. There's just nothing I can do. These guys aren't going to be able to run up in time to do any damage. They never got in their combat shield. Why don't you have your combat shield? Do I, do I, what, what upgrades do I have? Oh, they don't have the armor either. What was my problem in this game? Uh, it's so hard for me to recover from when I think I win the game and he doesn't quit. I let him come back. Look, I mean, look at this. He's He's got no minerals, a ton of gas, but not as much gas as I do, and I have tons of minerals. 
So he's able to start doing a lot of damage to my planetary fortress. There's really no point in me repairing it right now. I'm just trying to get as much minerals as I can out of it. And then I can't move over here. I don't want him to know that I have that expansion. So, oh, but they do anyways. But he's not that paying that much attention. So I'm moving in, but of course I'm in now I'm in range of the siege tanks, and that is definitely gonna be the game. It's only a matter of time now. He's doing all this damage inside my base. I did reset the rally point, but this is not gonna be enough to counter what he's got. You know, look at that. Not even close, especially since these guys are still 1-0. I did get a second engineering bay with the army, and I never never used it for anything. Oh, uh, just macro falling apart, not following up on attacks like I should. Those two siege tanks come into my base, and I'm like, yeah, that that's it. That's game. Good job. So, looking at this game, even when I was playing it, I'm like, you know, I probably had that game. I took out his SCVs, and I just didn't follow up with an attack. But looking at it now, oh my god, I fell apart. What the hell is wrong with me? You know what I mean? Oh, it's just painful. That's painful, too. Oh, jeez. Too many cooks in the pot. That's what that is. And there's only like nine left on it, so... Not even all these guys can get one out of it before it's out. Just, just horrible. So, siege tanks, once again, so good in TVT. If, especially if you never get the freaking combat shield upgrade, you never get the armor upgrades, they can one-shot your marines. You know... It, it, what does it do? He's not sieged up. Where is some sieged up? And eh, don't zoom in. That's not what I wanted. Stupid laptop mouse. So he doesn't have any sieged up. But he was one shot in my marines. You guys saw that, right? You'll have to take my word on it. Because I didn't have the combat shield upgrade, because I didn't have any armor upgrades, he was able to one shot my marines, and yet I still walked into it. Knowing that he had siege tanks. And I never got, never got one. Not a single one. I was trying to get medevacs. What are medevacs going to do for me? Just just bad. It was just bad. It was a bad game for me. But it was a good game for him. You know, he went his build. And it worked in the long run. Even though it didn't work in the short run. Just didn't have... Um, didn't have the, the macro intern... Or... Well, I mean, he had the micro early on, uh, but because he was down to SCVs that I started taking out, but he was able to come back good, good on him. He was able uh, to mount a comeback despite being down to pretty much a couple medevacs and I believe four marines. And he was using his SCVs to, to attack and wipe out what I put into his base. And he was still able to come back, so he does a lot better job than I do at coming back after... Both of us think the game's over. He's like, oh, this game's probably... He probably thought the game was over. But because I didn't follow up, because I was supply blocked, and I was scared of another medevac drop, twice I could have come in and probably finished the game and won it. But no, I allowed him to come back, get those siege tanks, and that's what cost me the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.